Yeah, hi everyone. Welcome to MZ Lodge for another week. Um, yeah, great week last week. Uh, we took old London Fog down to uh, Tarang and uh, he got the money again. And uh, geez, he's been a consistent horse. I think that's 10 runs in a row now he's been placed. But uh, very, very big effort. He sort of straightened up second last and was four or five deep. And uh, the last 50 metres, he was very, very strong. I, uh, I'm not sure how the form will hold up out of the race. The ninth horse got beaten a length in that race. So fantastic race it was. And we just happened to have our head in front of the line, which was uh, fantastic. Um, well done to Benny and the boys and uh, Bluey. They, uh, they've stuck by him. And um, for a horse that's, uh, you know, he's pretty limited. He's only won two races now, but uh, he's earned over 80,000 prize money with Vobus bonuses. So if you live in Victoria, make sure your horses are Vobus. Um, unfortunately, Daniel Moore got suspended for 23 days on that uh, on the ride. So Daniel's sitting on the sideline for a couple of weeks, but um, I'm sure he'll bounce back. Yeah, really busy week this week. Uh, we'll kick off at Pakenham on Sunday. We'll probably have five runners there. It just all depends on uh, how the uh, fields hold up and whether we get runs or not. We'll kick off with a uh, maiden called Aralka in the 1200 metre maiden. Um, he's going to be a fair way down the list in order of entry. Um, and uh, I just didn't want to trial him on that synthetic track. They transferred the trials the other day from the grass to the synthetic. And I don't want to trial him on the synthetic. So um, he's going to go to the races and this will be purely as a trial. So uh, I'd say he'll finish sort of uh, back in the field and then we'll step up to 14 or 1600 metres second up. Uh, old horse called Hot Spin. I had him in at, uh, at uh, Ballarat on Thursday and uh, unfortunately just slipped over in the wash bay and uh, so I just had to wait a couple of days. Um, I've only really got this horse back for Georgie to ride but um, unfortunately Georgie's going you know, down to South Australia on the weekend and I need to get this horse to the races so uh, Noel will have a sit on him and uh, he'll go around 1000 metres, probably be, be a bit short for him but uh, old horse is in pretty good nick, he's a bit fat and um, but uh, he'll, he'll go okay and as I said we'll probably treat it a bit like a trial but um, he actually trialled up pretty good the other day so the old boy hasn't lost anything I don't think. Um, Macrobius, he'll step out uh, first up. Really like this horse. He's uh, he's going to make a beautiful horse. He was city place last time in and was running blind as the races. Even though he only won the one race, he uh, was right around the mark in very strong races. He's uh, they don't work much better than what he worked through the week, and um, he should just sort of sit back off him and geez, he'll be strong to the line. If these go hard in front, no doubt he can. Um, wouldn't surprise me to see him finish all over the top of them. Uh, probably a 2,000 metre horse, but um, uh, in a 1,200 metre race. But uh, geez, he's going extremely well. We'll also kick off Moralto in a 1,200 metre 58. Um, she's uh, she does go very well fresh. This filly, um, whether she's going to be sharp enough for a 1,200 metre race, I'm not sure. She ran third behind a nice sort of horse first up last time in, then we jumped her straight to a mile and she won. So um, uh, we'll probably be doing a similar sort of thing, but uh, she should run uh, around about the mark. Work is really good and the horse is very, very well. So I've no doubt she'll go as good as she can go, whether she's fast enough to win a 1200 metre race, um, we're yet to see, but um, our horse is in good nick. And a horse called Conciello, he's, um, he's been, been sort of getting a long way back in his races and really finishing off. So we're going to give him a crack at a mile. Um, we'll ride him the same, we'll ride him back off the speed. Packenham should really suit big long uphill straight should suit a horse coming from um, trap getting back and sort of hammering home like he has done his last couple of starts so um, uh, Noel Callow goes on him and um, you know I've got no doubt the horse will go well um, we've been sort of training him fresh as a run on sort of horse so we'll be interested to see how he goes when he gets up to a mile but if you see his last start you'd certainly say he's got a mile written all over him. We'll then go to uh, Ararat on Monday. We'll take Froffy there. He drops back to 58 grade, which is his grade. Um, he's won in this. He only had the one start in this grade, and he's won in it. So, um, and he worked up beautifully here yesterday. So, I've no doubt he'll. Um, you'll see a significant improvement in his form. Uh, just needs to half pie draw a gate, I suppose. And uh, Yendelon will be very aggressive early, and will go forward. And uh, fitness is not even vaguely a worry. So, uh, Froffy could certainly uh, start to do something. Probably, probably needs to the big boy. Um, might take Kawabata there as well. I'm just tossing up whether. We we just keep her up over the 2400. There's not a good race for her for another two weeks. So whether we just take her to Ararat on Monday, give her a gallop over the 2000 metres and go back to the 2400 might be the go. I'll just see how she works in the morning. And uh, But uh, she's not 100% going to run. I'll just make a decision tomorrow whether she's going to run or not. Tuesday we'll step out at uh, sale. Um, probably take uh, London Fog down there. Uh, 2200 meters 64 he got to the line really really strong over the 1850 the 2200 looks absolutely ideal for him now sail track big long running um yeah plenty of ticks in the boxes goes up in grade to 64 grade um but um you know we'll just see how he goes there but uh horses in good nick and expect him to go really well um unfortunately daniel won't be able to ride him but jamie mott who actually won on this horse in his maiden uh jamie gets the seat back on him so we won't be losing anything there 
We'll kick off a filly called Yolande. I uh, really like her. She was very, very good as a, uh, about this time last year as a two-year-old. She uh, just went amiss in the spring, but she's back for the autumn. Trialled up beautifully the other day, galloped up great through the week. She'll step out in a 1,200-metre maiden at uh, sale. Obviously, she's a lot better than a maiden, so it um, doesn't need a real lot of luck to be right around the mark. It's going to be a bit short for her, but um, still, uh, I think she's uh, pretty close to the mark. Hi everyone, on Sunday I'll be heading to the Narracourt Cup, I'll be riding even more action. He'll be chasing his second cup win there and he's basically a cup specialist having seven wins in cups. Um, he's been a very honest horse and has been a very good horse to me so far, so hopefully we can get the job done on Sunday and beat Sandhill Chief. Uh, he beat us last start so he has another kilo on this start so hopefully we'll just get him. Um, on Monday I'm heading to Ararat and riding a horse called Sir Wolf for Rhett Barden, a local Geelong trainer. It has pretty good picnic form, um, so I'm expecting him to be pretty competitive on Monday. I hope everyone has a good week. Yeah, this week's Horse of the Week is probably um, certainly my favourite ever horse and um, he's uh, probably the most important horse on this farm. He's uh, an old horse called Sandbelt. He's actually 19 years old. Uh, when um, when uh, we left Macedon Lodge and we moved to Geelong probably 15 years ago, um, we uh, both myself, myself and Janet, we didn't have a lot of money and uh, we were really struggling at the time. We had this old horse and he was probably the great white hope and um, Sandy earned uh, a quarter of a million prize money and we owned half of him and uh, I've absolutely no doubt that I wouldn't be in business today and we certainly wouldn't have this beautiful farm um, if it wasn't for a horse like him. He's, um, he's just been a fantastic old horse and in the day where, you know, a lot of people, there's a lot of criticism about people not looking after um, X-ray sources. Um, this horse is going to be welcome on our farm for the rest of his life. As I said, he's 19 years old. He's actually used now as a, a bit of a companion pony. I've got a, uh, a colt here and um, the colt thought he was pretty shit hot and um, he just needed to pull his head in a little bit so we threw this old horse in with him and uh, old Sandy dominates him a little bit and he's now, you can see this, um, there's a three year old colt who um, was quite naughty and you can see what he's like now. It's really settled his temperament down and uh, these old horses are just invaluable to, uh, to any sort of racing stable. But um, the old boy will live here as long as he wants and uh, as I said, he's 19 years old and uh, without without even a little bit of a doubt uh, we certainly wouldn't be in business today if it wasn't for him. That's an old horse called Sandbelt and certainly our favourite at the farm. Hi everyone, hell of an effort breaks down on us. Marley Magic runs third and pays three dollars so we're back in town. This week straight to Caulfield, race five, number 11, Heatherly, round nine to two, I reckon it'll win. My value bet is race three, number two, a blue diamond hopeful in concealer. I reckon it's been set for this race, so whatever it does, make sure you follow up. So good luck, good punning, and we'll catch you next week. Yeah, that's it for another week at Ems Lodge. Thanks for watching. Uh, geez, I went up to Sydney, went to the classic sale. Poor, is it expensive? I think they were up about 30%. That sale's gone up 55% in two years. So that's sort of, uh, it's obviously a lot of money around. So uh, yeah, very difficult to buy yearlings this year. No doubt Melbourne Premier will be, I reckon you're probably going to need about 120000 to buy the average horse there. So yeah, plenty of, um, plenty of cash around. But um, good luck to George going around on um, Sunday in the Narracore Cup. I'm sure she'll ride it well. And um, we have got a very busy week ahead of us. Hopefully we can put our head in front a couple of times. Till next week, see you later. I have three rides at Penshurst on Saturday um, and three at Warnable on Sun. Did I say Sunday twice? Did I say Sunday? Is your camera level? Is your camera level up your camera. Let's uh, start 2016 off in a... Uh, an, in, um, um, um.